Buying a game is such a magical feeling, especially when you wanted that game for such a long time. You just get to look at the case and just look at it and look at it until you finally get to play it. Or even digitally, just watching that game install, it's such a great feeling. But what if you got to get that one game that you just always want in your life? Perfect, mm, no flaws. Well, I'll tell you what mine's is. And it's definitely not Sonic in a car! My dream game would have to be if Breath of the Wild and Warframe had a baby. It, this game would just be amazing. I'm talking about scrumptious. Just, uh. Warframe is just a free-to-play Destiny. Now, I have played Destiny 1 and 2, and I still say that it's better than those two. All because it doesn't try to dig in your pockets to get every single piece of change you can possibly dig out. In this game, you play some type of robot cyborg thing called a Techno, and you just do missions. Simple as that. Now, I'm not a story guy, so I never really paid that much attention to story for that game. So let's move on from that part. The missions can be uh, hoarding off waves of enemies, defending objectives, or even just finding a guy and killing him. But even with that simple concept of finding a guy and killing him, Warframe makes it so much fun. Just like Breath of the Wild, which I'll touch on later. I love how they do these missions a lot. You can either just storm through past all of the enemies, you don't even have to fight them and get straight to the boss, or you can take your time fighting them, and you just go through these nicely crafted rooms. They look beautiful as well, especially with the flying part. Now that's something right there. The guns in this game look pretty cool, and you can customize each part for free, unlike Destiny. You also can use swords, and two of them as well. You just gotta put the time in to craft them. There's actually quite a few classes in the game. They're all a little hard to get. You just gotta put the time and effort into them. But for my class, I can hack and slash through enemies, blind people around me, make my sword glow. It's all great stuff. I can even go in the air and just do some Neo Matrix stuff. Love it. Now I know your mouth is just watering up just to play Warframe. It's free as well, by the way. Go try it out. But now we're gonna move on to Breath of the Wild. Now, mmm. Mmm. When you put $60 into a game, you should expect the greatest amount of stuff you can get. Lots of content, and just whatever you see on the box is what you're going to get. Breath of the Wild delivers. This game is open world, and it has you doing objectives, just like Warframe, but except it's open world. You can do whatever you want. You don't even have to follow the objectives. After you complete the first three missions of the game, you seriously can go fight the final boss if you want to. It's pretty fun. I would have to lean to Breath of the Wild when it comes down to combat, since it's so diverse on what you can do. There are weapon types such as Boomerang, Short Sword, a long sword, and also you can use a spear. Each of these weapons do their own thing. For example, the spear, if you charge it up, it keeps jabbing and jabbing. The long sword, or cleaver, whatever you call it, you spin around and keep spinning and spinning until you do a gigantic slam. Both boomerang and sword, you just do a quick spin. Pretty cool. You can also use bows in the game, but bows offer up something as well. You can use bomb arrows, you can blow things, obviously. Lightning arrows, some people. Ice arrows to make people freeze. There's also fire arrows so you can explode bombs that you might see or just set an enemy on fire. And there's regular arrows which is shoot people. Duh. Every weapon in the game has different variants to it so instead of there just being a long sword you can actually use a hammer instead. But you do have to find these things around. Unlike Warframe where all you have to do is just craft it if you find the right blueprints. One thing I did not say though was that these weapons all can break. That's right, you have this favorite sword you've been using forever and ever, and then all of a sudden it breaks. You can find a new one. Every weapon is replaceable in the game. You just gotta find it. And I love this mechanic so much. Some people also hate it, but I tend to like it because it makes me feel like I need to be conservative and I have to find and scatter around to get whatever I can. And now here comes your iPad thingy, AKA the Sheikah Slate. You pull this bad boy out and you can make enemies freeze in place or objects freeze in place. I use this to make this box freeze in place. Then I smacked it a couple of times and wha-boom! The magnet ability only lifts up metal stuff, so I was able to lift up this metal box and drop it on this guy's head. There's a nice ability which freezes the water so you can walk on it. And there's also a bomb. There's two different bomb types, a square which doesn't roll on the ground and the circle one. Circle? No, it's a spear. It's a spear. The spear rolls on the ground, so that can have some utility to it. Now, when you get in contact with an enemy, you can't just do everything I said, or even spam the attack button. But there's also some defensive play that you can do. 
yeah, you have a shield in this game, and you're going to use it. You can block stuff, obviously. You can parry stuff. You can dodge. Or you can perfect dodge to get a few extra hits in. This game with the extra mount allow you to surf on your shield. You can go down slopes at the speed of sound riding on top of your favorite shield. And it's so fun. I'm going to briefly go over this. And for after a while, you can also cook stuff. You find a pot lighting on fire. And whatever materials you have, you can just dump it in there and cook it. You can also eat things raw that you find. You don't have to put it in the pot. Now, if these two games combine, you already know now that would be the best thing ever. But, like I said earlier, Warframe is a free-to-play game, so there are a few nitpicks that I have to get out of here. Alright, let's see what we have here. Hmm. Okay, waiting for things to craft. Oh, no, get that out of here. Oh, heavy RNG. Dear Lord, please get rid of that. Oh my gosh, pay to win currency. Throw that out the window. Jeez, why would that ever be a thing? And voila! My perfect Frankenstein child baby game has been formed, and I love it. Now only one question remains. What console will this game go on? I'll tell you what console is not going to go on. PS4! Whoa! <laughs>